originally commissioned when Theresa May was Prime Minister, uh, and of course the experience during COVID, reinforced the need for us to have uh, a more coherent approach towards uh, sharing information and coordinating policy across the whole United Kingdom. In that you were less involved in decision-making relating to COVID from that date of appointment, 15th September 2021? Yes. All right. There has been an abundance of evidence in this module, Mr. Goop, to the effect that over and above perhaps a degree of expected chaos or confusion in the face of an unprecedented crisis, the Cabinet Office was largely dysfunctional. And that is a word that's been used by Mr. Cummings, by Mark Sedwell, the former Cabinet Secretary, the uh, former Deputy Cabinet Secretary, Anna McNamara, and others. Uh, how, as you see it, and you've been Cabinet, You've been a minister of the cabinet office for some time. How was that position allowed to develop? For a variety of reasons. I think the first thing is that the inherent structure of the cabinet office was flawed. Ministerially, to whom should the inquiry look in terms of accountability for the state into which the Cabinet Office descended prior to the onset of the coronavirus pandemic? Well, but the Cabinet Office in and of itself over many years has operated in a way which is not as effective as it should be for the effective delivery of government policy, both business as usual and also in response to crises. But when we're dealing with a whole system crisis of the kind that COVID clearly was, then the lead uh, departmental model is not adequate for that. We had an approach, uh, 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 the Cabinet Office had an approach. Can I return to the, the structural position in a moment? But my question was in fact directed at the nature of the Cabinet Office itself, mm. rather than structural issues which may have arisen between itself and other government mm. departments, in particular the, um, the response of government in the face of a of a whole government crisis. The cabinet office itself mm. has been described as dysfunctional, bloated, too many senior levels, too many director generals, a degree of duplication and confusion, a huge number of communications engagement staff, and so on. That is a facet of the cabinet office itself, mm. not any other lead government department. Why do you think that the Cabinet Office came to, to be in such a state? Too much responsibility to lead government departments and did not mean the assumption of sufficient responsibility at the centre. Why do you think that the Cabinet Office came to, to be in such a state? Well, again, the Cabinet Office acquired additional responsibilities uh, uh, before and during my time there. There was a tendency, there has been a tendency, amongst successive Prime Ministers to, to uh, uh, shove into the Cabinet Office responsibilities that do not appear to fit conveniently or easily elsewhere drugs policy or on policy towards charities and the third sector 